Welcome back everyone to my trailer conversion build. Um, this here, what you're looking at right now, is the bed frame that I had. As you can see, it's uh, built quite well. I think a little too well though. So, my plan is, because this is a beast to get in and out of the trailer, right now you have to kind of put a bolt through here, bolt through here, because there's hinges. One here, one like roughly here. That's why this board's here, for something for the hinge to drill into. And that was so this part here could kind of fold up, which I like the idea, but this thing's way too heavy. It takes two people to move it, and I'd like to be able to get it so it's just me who can move it. So my plan is separate that side, get rid of the hinges, remove these pieces, and unscrew the board from this, from all these posts on both sides. And then what I'm going to do, because I'm going to remove all this too, then what I'm going to do is maybe lay one of these down here, another one over here, just to keep it from sliding back and forth. And then what I'll do is the same on that, and uh, step over my mini bike here. That way when I go to put it in the trailer, I bring all the 2x4s in, I put them where they're supposed to be, then I bring in the boards and just set the boards on top. And that should be good enough. Once you got a mattress, the weight of the mattress on top, it hopefully shouldn't go anywhere. Or I might make um, something to clamp it or just kind of hold it in place. But that's my plan. That's, that's what I'm going for right now. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll work. It should be strong enough because there's what, one, two, three, four, five, five posts, two by fours. And in that way, in order to move this out of the way, I just have to either flip the mattress on its side or flip it up and hold it in place with something. Because the idea is you flip it up and then you can put like a table and chairs in the spot where that one is. That way if it's raining out, you can sit inside and not be on the bed. That's what my game plan is, so we'll get to it and tear that apart and try it out.
pull that nonsense apart. Um, as you might have saw, when I went to go flip it up, it just kind of fell apart. That was one of the issues I was having and why I had to uh, screw it down so tightly. I am by no means a carpenter, so I have no idea what I'm doing. So that's just how I did it. I don't need that piece anymore. At least I don't think so. So it's just going to sit there. Didn't bother tearing it apart. But we'll put all this in the trailer and figure it out from there of what I'm going to do. Alright, now we are in the trailer. And this is where the bed's going to go. Um, well, it was already here. I'm using these tracks here. Um, this usually would be out of the way. I'll just move that right now. Put that out of the way here. These are what I use for the bed. Now the only thing is, I don't remember where they go. <laughs> so, to kind of just figure this out here. I think this one went, should be able to see a mark here of where I had it. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I think these ones go here. Next one there. Since I am reviewing it all, it doesn't quite matter where they go. one. Something like that. Oh, this one is the back one. Where you go, G? There. I should have numbered these. This one's way shorter, so I know this one's the front one. So I had to cut it shorter. Really short. Oh well. I don't feel like running to the store and grabbing another. Not during this whole virus thing. I know where this one goes. that because of these two holes here. This is probably the other short one. Yep. That only leaves. That. So that's the basic frame. So I'll have to bring the plywood in here. And then figure out where I'm putting the little supports. That way I just set the plywood in. That's it. Okay, so I got the uh, plywood back in here. And one of the uh, issues I have to overcome, because that's got to be somewhat flush to that. But right here, if I pull this away, you see the giant gap. So what I'm thinking about doing 
attaching onto that piece of plywood, use that one. Or not plywood, uh, 2 by 4 I've already got the bolt holes there and I'll just bolt it through and that'll give a lip for this to rest on. But my game plan is to take little pieces like this and then underneath, you know, kind of space them like that. So there's just enough for the 2x4 to go in there and then you just set the plywood down and that way it can't move back and forth. And then I might drill, cut out little handholds so I can lift that up easier. So this is what I've got so far. I uh, kind of put this all back together, just this part here. That way I could just lift it up like that. And then I can kind of slide it out of the way, either there or I can set it on top of the uh, bed because I found um, a perfect mattress for this, thanks to uh, another YouTuber that commented on my last video of a tri-fold foam mattress, which it, when I fold the one piece up will be sticking out a little bit, which isn't a big worry, but it's a nice spot here. I can put uh, a table and a couple chairs if it's pouring rain and we have to eat inside. It's just me and my girlfriend, so. I bolted this 2x4 back on here. I'm going to find some different bolts because these are too long. And I'd like to move them out further. <clears throat> but that's what this edge here rests on. That piece of plywood, it just comes off. It's not actually attached this out of the way, drop it. So this piece of wood I just have sitting here and I'm probably going to put some handle holds or something to get a better grip on that. But it just sits on there like that and two by fours are separate. Eventually I want to get a smooth piece of plywood and get rid of the OSB for that side. But that's all I had for now. Um, yeah, you just put the 2x4s in place, put that there. Come in with this. Set it on the edge there. And then it just fits in like that. I may put something to keep this from sliding because it is right on the edge. Can't really see it there. But it is kind of on the edge, so I might just on that end just put something to stop it from sliding that way. And that's pretty well all, all I need. And that gives a decent amount of room. I got the heater on right now. It's a little, a little chilly. It's only like five degrees outside Celsius. Now it's oh, can't really get in there. Twelve degrees in here at least. But that's what I've got so far for the bed. Um, I might do some carpeting or something on top of it eventually too. So that's all I've got for now. If you uh, liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll uh, talk to you later. Um, hopefully I'll be getting uh, to some other things around here. Kind of uh, hard to get stuff right now because of the whole coronavirus thing, but it is what it is. So stay safe and have a good one.